హలో స్టూడెంట్స్ సమగ్ర శిక్షా సిద్ధిపేట్ ప్రజెంట్స్ ఆర్ వర్ల్డ్ త్రూ ఇంగ్లీష్ క్లాస్ ఎయిట్ యూనిట్ వన్ పేజ్ త్రీ ఏ రీడింగ్ ద టాటర్డ్ బ్లాంకెట్ వెన్ హీ అరైవ్డ్ అన్ఎక్స్పెక్టెడ్లీ అట్ హిస్ హోమ్ ఇన్ ద కంట్రీ సైడ్ ఇన్ హిస్ ఆఫీస్ కార్ అండ్ గాట్ డౌన్ అట్ ద గేట్ His mother, who was lying in an armchair on the veranda, made a futile attempt to get up. Kamala, there is somebody at the gate. She said, somebody is in a car. Kamala, her eldest daughter, a widow, who was sitting huddled up on the thinna, on the veranda. Her head and ears were. covered with a thin bath towel got up reluctantly walked slowly to the gate and screwing up her eyes peered into the darkness page 4 she saw a bald fat middle-aged man walking in through the gate oh gopi she said in her greeting voice why this sudden unexpected visit kamala who is it her mother asked loudly from the veranda gopi the man said there was a meeting in tiruvananthapuram i just dropped in on my way back who kamala who is it there was note of alarm in amma's voice Amma why are you so scared Kamala Gopi's eldest sister asked her a little awkwardly as if you are seeing Gopi for the first time Amma it's me Gopi he said again he bent down and brought his face close to her wrinkled cheeks Amma it's me Gopi Kamala I can't believe it has his school closed for vacation Amma is often like this these days she doesn't recognize anybody Gopi's sister explained but sometimes her memory is quite sharp then she asks me if you have sent any letter i tell her everything is fine with you Vimala and the kids what is the point of telling her that you haven't written for a year poor thing i wouldn't dream of making her unhappy i got a promotion last year after that i am always on my toes and there are tours quite often I don't get any time to write letters. Why don't you ask Vimala to write or doesn't she get any time to? What are you mumbling over there? Amma said loudly. I heard somebody coming in a car. Who is it? I told you it's Gopi. But Gopi is in Delhi, isn't he? Yes, Amma, it's me. I have come from Delhi. Who did Gopi marry? Amma said, suddenly lowering her voice. I mean, what's his wife's name? Don't say you have forgotten her name too. Don't you remember? Vimala? district collector nambia's eldest daughter gopi's sister said oh i forgot the name was there a letter from gopi today there was he writes every day page 5 i am terribly upset if i don't get a letter from him every day he knows it that's why he writes every day look at the way she talks 
Gopi's sister turned to him. Just as I told you, you know nothing about what's going on here. Do you? Who is that? Amma said again. Who is that in a car? It's me, Gopi said. I had to come to Tiruvananthapuram. I thought I should drop in to see you, Amma. Who is your Amma? What is her name? Where does she live? Is it far from here? No, it is quite near. I don't know how I can bring back her memory. Gopi's sister said to him exasperatedly. Gopi placed his briefcase on the thinna. He opened it and pulled out the contents. Clothes, files, a shaving set. Page 6 Do you know my son Gopi? Amma asked him. He is in Delhi, a government officer. He has Kesara Yogam. He draws a salary of 2,500 rupees. Do you know him? Yes, I know him. Tell him to send me a blanket. There is a cold mist in the mornings. If I catch cold, it doesn't leave me for a long time. Tell him to send a blanket, won't you? A red one. I had a blanket, the one he brought for me when he was studying in Madras. It is all tattered now, just a ball of knotted yarn. Tell him to send me a red blanket, will you? I'll tell him, he nodded. Please, don't forget to tell him. The mist is not good for me. I think I'll stretch myself out of a bit. I have been sitting too long in the armchair. I have a pain in the neck. Gopi's sister put Amma to bed and came back to the veranda. You didn't come to see Amma, did you? Delhi is too expensive. You know I have four children to look after now. I can't make both ends meet with my salary. And one has to keep up one's status. It will be a great help if I can raise some money by selling my share of the family property. I came to talk it over with you. You will sell your land and go away with the money. I know you won't come here any more after that. Don't say that. I'll come when I get time. Your time? He saw the irritation on his sister's face. It took you more than five years to find time to come here. Amma is 83 now. I don't think she will pull on much longer. It took you so long to visit her after the last time. But Amma can't remember who I am, he said, smiling feebly. But do you remember your Amma? Written by Kamala Das, Madhavi Kutti. Translated from Malayalam by K. M. Sharif. Page 7 About the author Kamala Das, 1932-2009, is the daughter of the famous Malayalam poet Balamani Amma and V. M. Nair. She is an internationally known poet, short story writer, and novelist who writes effortlessly both in English and Malayalam. She has received many awards for her literary work. Some of them are Asian Poetry Prize, Kent Award for English Writing from Asian Countries, 
Asian World Prize, Sahitya Academy Award, and Vailar Ramavarma Sahitya Award.